Rick Sparber here. Uh, it's funny how one idea can go out and spawn another. A uh, long time ago, I did a video on my Xbox controller that <coughs> talks to a really nice piece of driver software called Re SWAD. It's a gaming software. It was only about $12, I believe. Um, and what it does, is it lets me map all of the controls on the Xbox controller to any combination of keys that are understood by the uh, Centroid uh, CNC12 software. So what I was able to do before, <coughs> for instance, is if I push the X, this joystick here, which is my X joystick, then you can see that the table will move. What I suddenly realized is that uh, the joystick has an up and down as well as a left and right. So if I push the joystick up, then what it's going to do is increase the uh, speed rate override and essentially increase the speed that I'm traversing up to the maximum of uh, 35 inches per minute. Similarly, I can push down on it and decrease the speed. Now, what makes this interesting is as I'm pushing the joystick, uh, say, to the right to make the uh, x-axis move in a, in a positive direction, or in, yeah, in a positive direction, I can also tilt it up or down to change the speed. So I'm going to get my hand out of the way so you can see the, the table. So there's the table moving. Now I'm rocking it forward. You can see the speed going up. Now you can see it going down. I can go back the other way. I can increase the speed or I can decrease it. So all that by how I tilt that uh, controller. Uh, now, by just pushing it straight up, straight down, I'm controlling that override. Now, I do have the same configuration for Y. Normally, when I tilt this Y button forward, I'm moving the Y axis. And similarly, I can uh, I can change the speed, but I find it it's also handy to be able to just use it over here. So, for instance, if I say I want to move Y, I can push that first one down, and slow it down, take that X joystick, go up. Similarly for Z. up and down. If I go down and to the right, let's see. Oh, I'm at 200%. Okay. Let me get back down to a reasonable feed rate. Okay. So there's. So you can see I'm making it go slower. Not as easy to see, but I am controlling the the feed rate on the z-axis over here so it's an it's an added feature that uh, i think i'm going to like uh, my goal is to be able to use this for machining and to do that i need to be able to a better control of the speed so hopefully that's will do it
that's all for now.